जो जलाया मेरे हस्बैंड ने जलाया ठीक है तो मैं सो रही थी तो अम्मी के घर में आया इस तरह तो उसने मुझे जला दिया खुद ही वो इंसान ऐसा था कि वो नहीं रखना चाहता मुझे मैं उस वक्त तेरह साल की थी जब मेरे साथ अटैक हुआ है उससे पहले जो मेरे स्कूल टीचर और उसके फ्रेंड ने मेरा रास्ता रोका है तो मैंने साथ जाने से इनकार किया तो इस वजह से उन्होंने मेरे ऊपर जजाब गिरा दिया Daniel my co-director had heard on BBC Radio Dr Mohammad Jawad talking about um acid violence yes, please Ruxana So he contacted me and told me about the story and I thought that um I'd heard about acid violence but never really looked into it and and as I started looking into it I realized that this something needed to be done Kis se jawab dega Pakistan produces uh, you know empowered women who have uh, full time jobs and it can produce women like Ruksana and Zakia who are in my film who are completely isolated and victims so it's a story that needed to be told Dr Mohammad Jawad travels to Pakistan from the UK several times a year and um, operates on these women The film starts off with him coming to Pakistan to operate on Zakia who wanted divorce from her husband could not get the divorce because her husband believed that it was a matter of honor so when she went to court to do so um he said he'd make an example of her and right outside the main courtroom uh, he threw acid on her face it was really difficult to get access to these women uh because a lot of families would deny the the fact that uh there had been any acid violence uh so we went uh and contacted a number of non-profits that were working on the ground including Acid Survivors Foundation we partnered with a, a man who works as a field worker he opened up um more cases for us and and took us into the homes of some of these victims to masoom bachche the isne hamara chehra kyun kharab kiya tha hamare kya kasoor tha As we follow the story of the two women we realize that actually Pakistan is trying to deal with this problem. So isliye humne ye usme faisla kiya hai ki uski qaid honi chahiye zindagi bhar ke liye. Main keh raha hu death sentence jin ke upar guzri hai unse koi nahi pooch raha. And towards the end of the film we find that uh, the bill has passed um the women are now trying to move beyond uh, the fact that they have been victims and so there's a sense of hope throughout the film. We will be showing uh, the film in Pakistan in colleges and schools and in communities as much as we can after its US release on HBO. The idea is to use this as an educational tool. So what we've built is an educational outreach program that accompanies this 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 film and we are developing a series of public service announcements on radio and television and partnering with Acid Survivors Foundation in Pakistan to spread the message especially in communities where we find that um and have this mindset that violence against women is okay main so rahi thi to mummy ke ghar mein aaya is tarah to usne mujhe jala diya to usne ek second nahi lagaya ek second mein meri zindagi barbaad kar di in a country like pakistan uh, there are very few investigations that are truly ever done because it's hard for a foreign crew to come in for months on end um to follow a story when we investigate the problems we realize why they're happening and most often Uh, stories that come out of Pakistan just state the problem but not why it's happening and that that why is what triggers me to tell these stories